Happy National Isabella Day! Mm -hmm. What are the odds that National Isabella Day end up on the same day as transfer money to your daughter day? My route snacks are the same every day. I take two of these turkey sticks, two little things peanuts, two cheese sticks, two dates, and two of these. I'm obsessed with these. I've been drinking these for years. They're just, I don't know, they're my favorite water flavor. My dog is being so loud over there. Um, I don't always eat everything, but I take it. And then I always, um, in case I get hungry or we have a really long day, I take one of these chocolate protein bars. I don't know if you can hear me over my dog. My gosh. Peppa girl, what are you doing making all that noise over there, ma'am? What are you doing? She's scratching her back. That's what her's doing. Peppa girl. Peppa girl. What are you doing? Hi. Good morning. Good morning, Hi. girlfriend. Hi there. Good morning, Fergie. Hi. Fergie saying, what are you doing? The worst thing about being a mail carrier, a rural mail carrier anyway, with a POV, which is your own car, is getting gas every other day. Every other day. <laughs> we have to fill up my car every other day. My husband does it sometimes too. We take turns, but oh my goodness. And he drives for a living too, so. <sighs> so gas is three. 19 where I'm at. So after my five cent discount for being a inner circle member at Circle K, I paid three fourteen a gallon. That comes out of my pocket. Yes, I get mileage paid, but if my car breaks down, that's on me. If I need a new tire, that's on me. Every other day, a full tank of gas, that's on me. <sighs> it costs a lot. Did you know that if your mail carrier drives a car that doesn't look like the LLV, which is the old box type, or a pretty van um, that they call the Metrics. Did you know that that's their car? A lot of people don't know that. They think that these cars belong to the post office. They do not. They belong to us, the carriers. And that's part of the job requirement of working there and having the job, is you have to have a reliable car. And did you know that if we break down, we have to clock out because that's our fault, because it's our car that we have to keep up and that's part of the job. All right, I'm on my way to work. TGIF, I guess. I think I'm off tomorrow, which I'm not off on Saturdays, but I asked for it off and um, then I took the ask for back and when I saw the schedule, I was off, so I'm not gonna argue three-day weekend, baby. I need it. There's a bunch of community sales this weekend, which I don't need to go to, but if I'm off on a Saturday and there's sales out, I'm going to be there because I don't get Saturdays off anymore. Check this out, guys. This is my setup. Cool, huh? I turn this wheel and that one turns. Sorry, it's so dirty. I cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it and then realized I deliver on dirt roads with my window down. Whether it's windy, rainy, whatever. It's just going to end up like this every day. So now I don't clean it near as often. I still clean it, but not near as often. And that's my stick. I use that stick to reach the um, emergency brake over there because I can't reach it. And I've got this table instead of the regular driver's seat to put my mail on. So I have somewhere to put it that I can reach it, you know. And then the back. I do get to take my outgoing packages to work with me every day though. That's pretty convenient. And then back there, I've got it wide open, except for one seat. The guy that I bought the car from, he took the seats out, but he gave me the seats. Since I still have um, a kid that doesn't drive, I put one of the seats back in.
What are you doing? I'm going to work for you. Mom, do you just have a spot? No. Does it look ready? Are you cooking? For once. Did Bro, you do it? I've been putting this off for weeks to actually cook. Did you do it all by yourself? Sadly, yeah. You did. I'm impressed. That looks ready? See, that one definitely looks ready. That one right there. That one does too. Does that one look ready? Feels ready, I think. Yeah. Ready? I cooked! Yay, thank you. I cooked for the first time in a while. Um, did it kill you? What'd you do? Here, you want to play? What'd you do? What'd you do? You want to play? What are we playing? Rummy. Rummy. Also, anytime I move my cards back, if I take two cards and put them back, that means that there could be a match later on. <laughs> I just want you to know that because I do that every game. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Good yeah. Bye. Thank you for dinner. Love you. I am listing this party light candle holder. It's the Hearthside. Coo, how do you say that? Coocher, coocher. I don't know. I'm not bougie enough to say that word. Coocher, coocher. Whatever that is right there. Um, it's a candle holder. It holds five candles, and then it's got different pieces you hang on it change the seasons so you've got the snowflakes and you've got pumpkin and some fall leaves and a bat and then whatever the heck these are not so sure I'll have to look that up I paid five dollars for this back in 2021 I used it for a little while kept knocking these magnets off which really got annoying <laughs> so now I'm selling it I'm listing it for fifty five dollars plus shipping Here's a couple of things I listed today other than the candle holder. I listed this LSU Build-A-Bear hoodie. I listed that for $12.69. It's the season uh, for football stuff. And I found that when I was cleaning one of my kids' rooms. So I didn't pay anything for it. And it was easy to list. Um, I listed this bib. I bought it for my granddaughter and we never used it. She's outgrown it. <laughs> and I bought it used and didn't even realize that it's a Mickey head. How cute. I just thought it was a vintage bib. I listed this for 10 and I really didn't pay anything for it because I bought it for her. So I'm not considering I even pay anything for it. And then I listed this Steinbach knitting grandma Christmas ornament. The sticker came off the bottom, but it was in the bag with it. I paid a dollar for this and listed this for 25. I've got to list some stuff if I'm going to go shopping tomorrow, right? <laughs> 